So what we have here is our power brake booster. So what this is going to do is going to apply more boost to like our brakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick in here and then my brother's going to align this right here like the dash I think it is. There's a dowel right there that you can see on the brake pedal. It's going to go onto that. Now what? Alright. So anyways, I'm going to give it over to my brother and he's going to align this dial up and unscrew it in. So you can see in there that he's bolting them up. There we go, you can start to see There's the pin with the rod on it. We gotta get a clip to put that in. All right, so we swap places. Got Judah outside. His hand's still kind of messing with him from yesterday's adventures with our fun little yellow jackets. And we got Ian underneath there. And he's kind of putting that in there. We're kind of screwed right now because unfortunately for us, the index register on this is bigger than most of the rims we have. So we did find a few rims that had them, but they don't have good tires on them. So like say that rim for right there. Cousin Mike did us a favor and went and ran to the house to get it. And of course the register was wrong and not his fault nor ours. It's just one of Ford's designs. So, we're moving ahead with whatever we can possibly get moving ahead with. Today we kind of got rained on all this morning. So that's part of why we're starting late. Alright, this is to give you a look from the inside. We now have the bolts there on top, totally installed, whereas we had them just sit in there let yesterday. And they're right there. Is the other bolt on both sides now there is a brace that we've got to see about reinstalling here in a few but I think we're gonna to need to leave that free until we can put HVAC back in but for the moment this is in place so we can move along to putting in wiring harness for the time being so here we are back at the wrench arrow all vacuumed up my dad would be doing this right now except like my brother had to go to like a clinic because of his hand I wonder if he's going to post that video first. Anyways, I've wrapped him out here. It may look still a little dirty because a lot of this, like, detergent that was here to keep the mice away was stuck on the, on the floor. There was a whole bunch all the way back in here. Especially in that corner right there. Anyways, got all cleaned up. My dad might come back here, go through this one more time. Like, right through here. Here maybe. Well, especially down here. Right around here. Anyways. Now, now that we're back at it, you can see we've got this section of the harness going. The other section actually routes underneath here and goes back, and we've actually unplugged that so that we've got a bit of room to work. But what we're looking at is this should fit up in those slots there. We have our light switch which is right here I'm just gonna go down there you also have somewhere in here a dimmer switch um, here is for turn signal indicators and then you've got multiple other connectors here there's your ignition switch and actually here's an ignition switch too that's a wiper sorry my bad so I guess we will see how it goes. And y'all can see it's gonna take a route along that metal tra tray right there inside the dash. Door buzzer. And goes on over and on over. So let's see what happens. All right, so you can't see well, but we've got fuse box in. Get around. 
we've got a few multiple other things plugged in already we're still working on certain things this is for back there this this and this go to this we have the under column plugged in here's plugged in neutral safety switch stuff is plugged in here this is going to be cluster stuff got the light for the uh, ashtrays in the cigarette lighters in washer wipers in light switches in Barrows is routing stuff over there as we speak some of that may still be missing I think because of stuff out from underneath the dash but it makes it a whole heck of a lot easier not having this upper dash in the way so we'll keep going and give y'all an update well here's the funny thing I just did that whole spiel and it wasn't recording so we've got the <laughs> dash all put back together we got to put screws in over here for the light switch but we're going to make sure that light switch works there for the dimmers we are put brake switch in the rest of the stuff's back in including the hot the pieces for that right there for the vacuum and everything we do have a couple spots where vacuum hoses need to be put back together we've got three or four grounds to put back in the top of the dash to put back in but that'll be good where this connector over here is it goes underneath this plate there's a second plate that goes right here and it goes back through here underneath there and then back in here up into that upper place so if you look there's room back in there for you to run your wiring now your wiring out here you'll see it actually has a wear sleeve on it and actually has a fitting there for under the dash and then you have all your other pieces where it comes down to here one of the things you do have if I can get my light to it is a connector right there that connector connects to that connector so these are your driver's side tail lights whereas we still have the wiring right here for these tail lights so what we're about to do real quick is we're about to feed this wiring loom through there what we did tie off here hook off to it here so it'll hold it and we'll feed it in through the other end what go get on the other end Judah All right, go pull the pull the rod back out. the other end, Yuda. Okay, we're gonna 
feed that, keep feeding that in to me. Hold on. Aye. Something always goes. bring it over here mm -hmm. you see where this plate is mm -hmm. we're gonna route the wires around through underneath this plate and then underneath this plate here and those, that's how you route your wires on this particular vehicle mm -hmm. Here's a little piece here, so I guess it goes around it instead of underneath it. And there's one wire missing. say this is probably for uh, the buzzer for the seat belt yep and there's that right there right here and that routes our wiring back in underneath here so at the very least we got that going so we will do our update from the junkyard so we got a decent amount of stuff done even with the rain today we have the front wiring to do but I'm not as worried about it now I was more worried about that front wiring right there. I thought we were going to have to use a hot rod harness, but thankfully Bear Rose actually had a Torino wiring harness. Of all things, he just knew he was going to have to need it in the future there. So we had to take him to the doctor today. His hand was still swelling from that yellow jacket bite they said it'd go down in a couple more days he got a lot of cleaning done today helped me with the other stuff so we got it done so this is the end of day two we'll see what day three brings just drive it mm -hmm.